The federal government has passed three bills to address this crisis. Of those three bills, the state governments have gotten precisely zero, zilch, nada in unrestricted aid. The state should this, the state should this, the state should this. Yes. Well, what support have you given the states? None. I mean, how can that even be? How is it even plausible as a strategy? Uh, it doesn't work. We need financial resources to stabilize the states because when you starve the state governments, uh, you know, I still eat, Dr. Zucker still eats, but we can't fund schools, we can't fund hospitals, we can't fund small business, we can't fund all these extraordinary efforts that we're undertaking. It makes no sense. We need to support the states because the states are the ones who are doing this. Reopening is up to the states, right? That's the federal decree. Uh, it's up to the governors. The governors will decide. The states have to decide. Everyone is in a different position, and it's up to the states, which I agree. It also happens to be the Constitution. But put that aside. Uh, I also think it's the right approach. Okay, it's up to the states. But then don't ask the states. Don't give them this massive undertaking that has never been done before and then not give them any resources to do it. Uh, that's not how this is going to work. The expression, don't pass the buck without passing the bucks. A.J. Parkinson, Mark remembers him. Don't ask the states to do this. It's up to the governors, up to the governors, up to the governors. Okay, is there any funding so I can do these things that you want us to do? No. Let's keep emotion and politics out of this and personal ego, if we can, because this is about the people and it's about our job. Uh, and let's try to focus on that. I have said repeatedly that uh, when we were fighting for the additional capacity for a hospital system, that the president moved very quickly, and I applauded him for it and he brought the Army Corps of Engineers, and he brought them up to build the Javits Center capacity, 2,500 beds. He's wrong that it hasn't been used. About 800 people have gone through Javits. Uh, to dismiss 800 people is uh, disrespectful. Uh, but we didn't use 2,500 beds because we didn't reach the capacity. When he says, well, we built it, we didn't need it. It sounds like a uh, suggestion is, well, it was a request by the state that wasn't valid. If he didn't really believe 2,500 beds was necessary, uh, I don't believe the federal government would have helped build 2,500 beds. Uh, and the, the number came from a projection from him. Him. See, he should read the reports he issues. The White House Coronavirus Task Force had enormous, projected in the millions of people. The CDC, which is the president, projected in the millions of people. So the projections were high. They were the president's projections. So for him to say to anyone, well, you relied on projections and the projections were wrong, they're your projections, Mr. President. So were we foolish for relying on your projections, Mr. President? CDC, Coronavirus White House Task Force, that's you, White House, that's you. 
we relied on your projections. Okay, shouldn't have relied on your projections. Actually, I think the president has a better argument, which is, yes, we built 2,500 beds because the projection said it could get that bad. And because we worked together, we flattened the curve and we didn't hit the projection, which is actually what happened. But don't suggest that anyone made a mistake relying on your projections or on Cornell, Columbia, McKinsey, et cetera. Uh, second, I have said a number of times, I don't know what am I supposed to do, send a bouquet of flowers? They were very helpful on Javits. They were very helpful on sending the U.S. Navy ship Comfort. Uh, they were very helpful in intervening with China and getting PPE equipment out of China. Uh, they were very helpful in helping us find ventilators. I said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, going forward, we're still in the midst of it. Uh, the president doesn't want to help on testing. He said 11 times. I said the one issue we need help with is testing. He said 11 times, I don't want to get involved in testing. It's too complicated. It's too hard. I know it's too complicated and it's too hard. That's why we need you to help. I can't do an international supply chain. Uh, he wants to say, well, I did enough. Yeah, none of us have done enough. We haven't, because it's not over.